Okay, so now I finished rows 45 to 56 on the second side, and I ended my last stitch on the outside edge, and I have 13 stitches going across the top row here, and now we're ready to join both sides again. And so we're just going to turn our work, and then we're going to begin at row 57. Just going to Okay, so we're going to turn our work and then we're going to chain one. And then we're working at row 57 now. So we're going to uh, single crochet two together over the first two stitches. So we're going to go into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. And we're going to go into the second stitch, yarn over and pull through. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then we're going to single crochet into the next. 11 stitches Okay, and then we're going to chain three. Okay, this is to make up for the skip chains or the skip stitches that we did on the, the first end. So we're going to chain three and then we're going to go over to the next half and we're going to single crochet into the next 11 stitches. So we're just going to insert the hook in the first stitch and we'll go first single crochet and we'll do that 11 times. Oops, we're going to work two single crochets into the last two stitches. That will be our second decrease. Okay, and that should give us, um, should give us 24 stitches and three chains. And then we're going to work row 58. We're just going to turn our work. And we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet two together over the first two stitches. And then we're going to single crochet into each stitch and into each chain across. We're just going to put one single crochet stitch into the next stitches. I'm going to do one single crochet into each chain. And one single crochet into the rest of the stitches. And that should give us 26 stitches all together. And then for row 59, we're going to work the single decrease row. So we're just going to turn our work. And 
And then we're going to make the decrease at the beginning of the row. And we're just going to chain one, single crochet two together over the first two stitches, and single crochet evenly across. Okay, and that should give us 25 stitches across. We're going to turn the work. And now we're going to work a double increase row at row 60. So we're going to make an increase, I mean a decrease at beginning and end of the row. So we're going to chain one, single crochet two together with the first two stitches. Then we're going to single crochet in each stitch up to the last two stitches. And then we're going to work a double. We're going to do the second decrease and we're going to single crochet two together over the next two stitches. And that should give us 23 stitches. And now for row 61, we're going to work the single increase, single decrease row again. And we're going to join the second color at the very last stitch. So we're going to decrease one over the first two stitches and crochet two together and a single crochet in each stitch up to the last stitch Okay, now we're only going to work the last stitch halfway. We're going to just yarn over and pull the loop up, and then we're going to take the next color, and we're just going to yarn over and pull that through, and then we can go ahead and we can cut the main color here. And then to work the single decrease row for row 62. So we're just going to turn the work, chain one, single crochet two together, single crochet evenly across. Okay, and that should give us 21 stitches. And then for row 63, we're going to work the double decrease row. So we're going to make a decrease at the beginning and end of the row. We're going to chain one, insert the hook in the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. The same for the next one. Pull through all three, and we're going to single crochet across to the last two stitches. 
Okay, so we're at the last two stitches now. We're going to work another decrease. We're going to single crochet two together over the last two stitches. And that should give us a total of 19 stitches across. And now we're going to work row 64 and row 65. We're going to work the single decrease row. And we're going to join the second color at row 65. At the end of row 65. So we're going to make one decrease. Beginning of row 64. A single crochet two together with the first two stitches and then we're going to single crochet in each stitch across okay now we're done row 64 now we're going to do 65 we're going to work another decrease at the beginning of the row single crochet two together over first two stitches and then we're going to work evenly across to the last stitch Okay, so now we're at the last stitch and we're going to join CA again at the second stage. Okay, and then we can cut the second color here. Okay, now for row 66, we're going to work a double decrease row. So we're going to chain one. We're going to work two single crochet together over first two stitches. Single crochet across to the last two stitches. And then at the last two stitches, we're going to do two single crochet together again. Okay, now for 67 and 68, we're going to work the single decrease row. So we're going to make one decrease at the beginning of the row. Chain one, single crochet two together. Single crochet evenly across. Turn our work. Do the same thing for row sixty eight. One decrease at the beginning, so we're going to single crochet two together, single crochet evenly across. Okay, so I'm at the end of uh, row 68 now, and I have 13 stitches across, and um, I'm going to work row 69 to 73. We're going to work the double decrease row, so we're going to make a decrease at the beginning and at the end of each row. A chain one, two single crochets together over the first two stitches. 
single crochet evenly up to the last two stitches. And then we're going to work another decrease at the end here. We're going to work two single crochets together over the last two stitches. We're just going to keep doing that um, until we have three stitches left. Okay, so we're at row 73 now. We're going to do the last double decrease. We're going to two single crochet together over the first two stitches. And we're going to single crochet into the next one. And we're going to work two single crochets into the last two stitches. And that gives us three stitches. And then we're going to, for row 74, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. Chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, in the next stitch, and in the last stitch. And then we're going to continue with the edging and we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet around the base of the last single crochet made. So I'm just going to chain one. I'm going to work right into this stitch right here, into the last stitch that we just made. I'm just going to go right into the base there and work your first single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet evenly around and we're going to change up the colors once we get to uh, the color changes in the pattern. So we're just going to one single crochet evenly around. So I'm going to change to the next color now. I'm just going to carry the brown at the back. So we're going to drop the first color again. We're going to pick the main color. Keep doing that all the way around. And you just want to make sure that the edge lies nice and flat. 